Hi, and welcome to Walk Wednesdays. Only you probably know I'm not Walk. I'm Ron Watson, pastor at First Presbyterian. Walk and I are exchanging roles this week. Uh, he'll be preaching on Sunday, and so I decided to take his spot here on Wednesday just to share a moment with you and talk about serendipity for a minute. I had an interesting experience years ago. Uh, in my late 20s, maybe 30, and uh, I was driving home from Savannah back to St. Simons Island. And uh, for some reason, uh, I was having car trouble, having a car repaired there and returning it. And it was one of those wrecks on the interstate that stops traffic in both directions. People were out playing Frisbee and that sort of thing. I worried that Jules would hear about the wreck and wonder if it was me when I was just merely delayed by it. Cell phones were new and the car behind me had an antenna for some kind of newfangled cell phone back in those days. And I thought, you know what, I just might ask these people if I could use their cell phone and call my wife and tell her why I'm so delayed. I finally got the nerve to do that. I got out of my car and started walking back to the minivan behind me when a woman came out uh, who looked like a mother and uh, wife. And she said, Ronald? Uh, and Ronald Watson? And I said, I can't who is this? I said, I, I haven't been called Ronald since the fifth grade. And she said, it's me, Lisa. We were in the fifth grade together. I uh, hadn't seen her in so many years. And of course, she let me use the phone. It was a funny story we both probably tell for years to come. Because we ran into each other two more times after that in six months. Once uh, by chance at a rest area on I-16 and then again in a grocery store. I never knew what it meant, but I knew that God was in it. The thing about serendipity for us Christians is that there are moments that we really can't explain that touch our hearts, that seem unlikely, but in some way wonderful, like the thunder that came in the middle of my sentence. It's good for us right now in this time of seeking out God's will and, and, and where our lives are going to, to wonder what God has planned, but to also listen for that still small voice of God and to wonder at those tiny coincidences or amazing little things we didn't expect to happen that happened to us, that God is in them. I want to just read one verse to you from Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, and some of you know it very well. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I don't know what ever happened to Lisa or the three times I ran into her. But I know that, for at least for me, that it meant that God was involved in my life in ways that maybe I couldn't understand. But because God was involved in such a way, I, I knew that I was cared for. Maybe you've had experiences like this in your life where all of a sudden you realized the care and wonder of God. If it is not so, I pray that it is. I also pray that uh, in the days that come, for however longer this goes on, or where we're slowly let back into the world, that you, you take a moment to, to wonder at the small things, the little coincidences, the happy things, that remind us that God is indeed involved in our lives, and that God is preparing the next thing that comes for us, even in the face of uncertainty. I could never have predicted the wonderful people that I'd be working with uh, a year ago, but here they are, especially Leslie and, and Walk and Jimmy. Of course, I'm grateful for everybody in the staff, uh, and I could start naming them all, and for fear of leaving someone out, I won't, but they are, in a way, uh, just another sign for me of God's serendipity that there is a plan for all of us. And maybe we're getting rocked right now. But just understand that God is in the big picture for you, as well as the small things. And like that passage says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you 
and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let's think about that future together as we pray. Gracious God, you are in our past and our present. Be also in our future. For we know that we will prosper when we put ourselves into your hands. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. One of the rides at Disney World used to have a song that played in the background. It was Space Mountain on the original. You can still hear it on YouTube if you're interested. Here's to the future and you. Uh, just a little song that played on an endless loop while you were waiting for people to get off the ride. Here's to the future and you. Amen.